What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what ya? About to give a follow-up call to a motivated seller. Sounded motivated on the replay call when I listened to what my uh, virtual assistant was saying to him. Sounded pretty motivated. Let's see if they really are, though. Uh, let's see here. No garage. Um, the house is supposed to be a four bedroom, one bath. Online is listed as a one bedroom or a two bedroom, one bath, but she says it's a four bedroom. What's up, Andrew? One of my favorite real tours right here in the STL. See you, bro. Um, yeah, she's, uh, got a mortgage on this house paying $575.23 a month. She don't want to keep making that payment, so... She's moving out. The house is four bedrooms. She don't want it anymore. Looks like they made some types of uh, updates. They said they updated the bathroom. I guess it's only one bathroom there. I'm not sure. I'm going to verify that. What's up, David Banner? What up? What up? The real David Banner. Which David Banner is the real David Banner? Is it you? So if you can do me a favor and hit that little share button, I think it's right around there somewhere. Hit that share to someone who cares, who likes this real estate stuff. And I'm going to get on the phone with this uh, motivated seller and see if we can work a deal with her. I would rather take over these payments of 575 a month because uh, that's basically what I pay. And I don't even live in a house that's four bedrooms. I need to move in this house myself, but I don't want to move in it. Yeah, I'll get to your question. You can put it in here, uh, David. I'll get to it, but I'm ready to call this lady real quick. Unless it's something quick. If it's quick, I can answer real quick. But I don't really like to answer questions quick. I want to get you the right answer for the right thing. I don't want to just jump in there. Unless you really, really got a juicy question. Matter of fact, here. Quick, before I call this lady. Hopefully it don't take too long. You declined? Oh, okay. So you can't do it. You can't go live? Okay. Or you can. I don't know. This phone does some weird stuff sometimes. Oh, there hey, you go, yo. David. What up? What's up, my man? You know it, man. I'm trying to make a deal out here. You know how I do it. Lady says she want to sell this house. I said, let me get her on the phone while she hot and ready. <laughs> like Little Caesars or what? You know it. Hot and ready. Brought <laughs> to you. What you got? What you uh, got? Give me one second, man. Hold on. Oh, shoot. I'm in my sister's bedroom. That's where you see all the Christmas lights. What market uh, are you in anyway? I'm in Houston. I'm in Houston, Texas. All right. H-Town. All right. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, man. Um, I saw I saw you started using call tools um, like maybe a few days ago. And um, uh, I was wondering, you know how when you get a, a, a list of uh, skip trace uh, names already and you get a bunch of numbers for only one seller? I was wondering how do you update that list onto um, onto call tools because when you do update the list onto call tools without um, grouping those numbers onto one seller, you get like a bunch of uh, you can only call like one number per uh, per seller. So I was wondering yeah. how how do you do it because there I, I've been told there's like a formula and I've been I've been looking for the formula all day and I just can't get a hold of it somehow and I've tried like YouTube and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I know that's a problem that comes across even with text messaging services as well. So what I did was I had my virtual assistant to contact call tools and they told her exactly how to do it. So basically it is a formula, like you say, uh, you have to put them in, I believe, with commas in between it in parentheses or something like that. But what I would suggest is really send a message to call tools and they can give you the video. They, I think they have a video on how to do it, but she, they told my virtual assistant exactly how to do it. So I didn't actually go in and learn how to do it myself. I sent them to go do it. I cheated. I hacked oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, I was trying to do that, but they told me they're only going to get back to me till Monday and I wasn't. I wasn't trying to wait that long to um to get all those numbers onto the onto the call tools platform. But yeah, I think that's and, what I'm uh, gonna... and my virtual assistant's off. She just got off at four. Dang, I would have told her to tell you how she did it, but she's not even she's back off. She's in the Philippines. They already probably sleep. Yeah. Like six yeah. in the morning. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, man. All yeah, right. But Chris, uh, if you if you're not able to reach anybody, let me know and I'll see if I can uh get some uh information for you. Yeah, for sure. I sent you a, a, a DM um, maybe like a few minutes ago before I got here on live. Okay. 
No problem. So yeah, uh, if you can't figure it out, so just let me know and I'll see if I can get her to uh, tell you how she did it or whatever. It's not it's not hard though because they they sent her something and she figured it out and it was up and running like in twenty thirty minutes. So it didn't take long, whatever it was. So yeah, I think you have to put them in parentheses or in a comma in between it. It's a formula. Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna. I mean, either way, uh, I'll shoot you a DM again or something like that, man. That way, uh, that way we can get in keep in contact. Cool, cool. All right, bro. All right, thank you, Chris. All right, no problem. So yeah, we got that there. So yeah, I'm about to call this motivated seller. I just sent her a text a few minutes ago and said, "Can I call you in the next ten minutes?" She owes about. Let's see here. She says she owes sixty two thousand on it. She's paying five seventy five a month. And uh, it's a four-bedroom house. She don't want anymore. She don't want to keep making that payment. So it sounds like a good candidate for a terms deal. Let me take over those payments. Let me take over that house. And you go on ahead and get on down the street. And I'll put a few thousand dollars in your pocket and just get a house for little or nothing with no money down. Using the end buyer's money if I can, if I'm that cool. But like I said, if you haven't already, share this video out and we'll get this thing popping. Let's get her on the phone. Let's see if she's home. Get her on the phone. Her name is Minda. What's up, Minda? Minda's got a house, but I don't even know what she's talking about. I almost want to say Brenda got a baby, but it ain't Brenda. It's Minda with an M. So let's get it. She called in on a bandit sign. So you know when they call a bandit sign, they ready to go. They ain't playing around no more. What up, R-E-I, Drea? Let's get her on here. Let's see. Minda. Connect with your phone. Let's get her. One to connect to three one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, we won't never broke. Share it out if you care it out. Hello, hi, Minda. Uh -huh. Yes, this is Chris. You spoke to my assistant earlier in regards to your house down in uh, Lima. How are you today? I'm good, yeah. Pretty good, pretty good. Did I catch you at a good time? Yes, uh huh. Fine. Yep. Great, great. So it sounds like uh, you have a house here. Um, you said it's a four-bedroom, one-bath. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. That's the real rub. <laughs> okay, okay. And she said something about the house had a, um, it was supposed to be a two-bedroom, but I guess you added some bedrooms or something? Yes, we did. Originally, it was two bedrooms, but the living room was 17 by 25. And when I had my son, uh, he didn't have a bedroom because the girls shared the second bedroom. So his bed was in the living room because it was so huge. Uh, but my cousin put up a wall so that there was a bedroom for him. And then when he moved in with me with his wife and children, because he had a son and two daughters, he needed separate rooms for them. So his room, he moved the wall out a little bit farther and then split it in half. Oh, wow. So you had a pretty big room. So the room that they created, is that like the proper size, a seven by seven by seven, and has a window and a closet and all of that stuff? It had, it, they both have windows in them, and yes, they both have closets. And they're about eight, maybe eight and a quarter by 11. Great, yeah, because I know they have a minimum requirement of seven feet tall, seven foot wide, and seven feet uh, deep. So you know they. Yeah, the the ceiling is. Um, I can't touch the ceiling. Yeah, <laughs> 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 I and I'm afraid to get on the ladder, so I have trouble reaching this uh, damn light bulb. So he took care of all that part, but uh, the ceilings are between. I'm thinking between seven and eight foot. I don't know off the top of my head, though. Yeah, no problem. So just as long as it's, you know, something we can get it, uh, you know, certified so they can officially say that it's a four-bedroom. So uh, you said it needed a furnace. I guess the furnace went out altogether? Yes. Uh, I went to turn it on in October, and it wouldn't come on, and... I had Courtney's heating and cooling come out, look at it, and he said it needs to be replaced completely. And I thought, I'm selling this. I'm not putting, you know, money into putting new furnace in here when I'm selling. 
show. Exactly. You're smart. I tell people that don't put money into these houses when you're going to sell them because you're just going to lose your money. You won't ever get that money back. Yeah. So you, yeah. Were, you were smart. I just, I just couldn't see the, the sense in it. Um, Four-bedroom house, too big for me. Uh, my son and daughter-in-law and grandkids all moved out. Uh, I cannot maintain a uh, triple lot. I can't cut it. I have arthritis and, and diabetic neuropathy. I cannot push a lawnmower to cut a, a yard that's 148 feet by 90 foot wide. Oh, yeah. You definitely need a riding lawnmower for one of those. Yeah. Well, I don't have one of them. I have a push mower, and I just can't do it. Yeah. So I, I can understand that. So, um, she says also here that you make a payment of let's see five seventy five a month. Is that current and everything? Yes. Okay, good. Because uh, also she asked you about if you were considered taking a monthly payment. Uh, so basically, I want to let you know how that would work if if you were interested in something like that. Okay. Yeah. So basically, we have a program where we assist people, you know, in situations like yours where we would actually come in and basically take over that payment. Uh, of five seventy five a month uh, for a period of time until we get the house uh, fixed up and cashed out sometime in the future. But basically, uh, we would, like I said, take over that payment on your behalf, be responsible for all of the maintenance and repairs of the house going forward, get that furnace fixed and things like that, whatever other, you know, cosmetics and things that are needed, get the house stabilized, and then uh, we actually try to get it cashed out, you know, in a, in a period of time. Is that something you would consider? Yes. Mm -hmm. Great. And then what's the lowest you would accept on a price if we could agree on terms? Um, I would like a little to be able to put a down payment on a condo, but, you know, uh, I really just need peace of mind. Yeah. I need to sell. I'll just, I'll be honest with you. I just need to sell. I, I can't afford to pay rent on an apartment and pay the house payment over there. It just doesn't work. But, I can't also can't afford to put a new furnace in, so I don't have a lot of options. <laughs> right, so. yeah, and it gets crazy the more time you wait, right? Yes, so. it, it seems that I, you know, I put it on uh, up on Zillow, and and that, and I just have, you know, I've had a couple people call, I had a couple people look, and uh, we showed it to a developer because it is a triple lot. Plus, there is 30 foot of a paper street, which they can never build on because it's been too long. So, and I've maintained it for the last 20 years. So, mm -hmm. oh, you've been there 20 years? Fine. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, my husband and I bought the house in 1984. Oh, wow. Okay. Great. So, you've and seen the I times change and the neighborhood <laughs> change and, and everything, huh? Yeah. You know, it, and it, it's just, like I said, it's just too much. I've lived there over 30 years, and it's amazing how much junk you accumulate in 30 years. Yeah, definitely. You know? And so that's what I wanted to ask and you about as I, well. Is there stuff still in the house, or you moved out everything that you wanted to uh, get rid of already? There is stuff still in the house. Uh, I, I just haven't with well, I just moved today. I'll be honest. I just moved today, so I do have to go back and, and clean up and that. And, but there is stuff in the house that's still that's my son's, and uh, they're supposed to come and get it, but I don't know when. Right, so. right, yeah, because that's the biggest thing, too. You know, when we buy these houses, they have stuff in there that people may want. So I always try to make sure you get everything out that you do want to take out, and uh, so we can basically, okay. you know, move forward with getting, you know, getting the repairs done and things like that. And so, what have you been right. using as far as heat since the furnace has been out? You've been using, what, space heaters or something? Or? Uh, no, I stayed with my daughter. Oh, so it's just been cold there then? Yes. <laughs> uh, I, leave, I leave the water run so the pipes wouldn't freeze. Uh, the electric is still on. Well, it'll be on until the 30th. Uh, when I turned it on here, I had to make arrangements to turn it off there. They really don't like for you to have two accounts. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, they get funny about that stuff. So, yeah, that was the biggest thing. I want to make sure you didn't let those pipes freeze because then that's a whole other booger there. Yeah, that, that's not a good thing. So, uh, they 
are turning the water off. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. Let me look at my little list here. So they are already scheduled for to get the uh, water turned off as well? Yes. Uh -huh. And so you moved out about a month ago, or you said when did you move out? Um, I moved out in uh, in October when I went to turn the furnace on and it wouldn't come on. So you got to um, get out I, of here. It's I cold, huh? There, I stayed there one night, and I thought I, I thought I was dying. I had fleece lined leggings my nightgown, a sweatshirt on over that, and in the bed with the covers pulled up to my chin. Yeah, it was cold. Wow. Um, the, gas, the gas was turned off on the 26th, um, and the, uh, the electric was scheduled for the 30th. The water's scheduled for the 31st. Of this month. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. So no problem. So um, yeah. So I think it's something we may be able to do with this. Um, and so if you're just basically to sell it, the house for what you owe on it, that would be a good scenario for you. You think? Like I said, I would really like uh, to put down on uh, a condo, but at this point, I don't know if that's going to happen or if I can even wait that long. For right. Right. To yeah. So and what, like I said, I did offer it to a developer because uh, my thought is really tear it down and build two in, in its place, you know. Mm -hmm. and because so, the lot is big enough for that. What bank is it that uh, has the mortgage? It's Carrington Mortgage Services. Carrington, okay. And that's the only loan? So it's not two loans, it's just one loan? Nope, it's only one loan. Okay. Great. And so um, what I would like to do is, if uh, possible, I would like to come take a look at the property, um, see, you know, what those repairs look like. If it's not anything too major, we may be able to actually get some money put in your pocket as well at closing, as well as we typically pay the closing costs when we buy them as well. So you don't have any money out of pocket because, you know, when you sell a house, there's an expense to that as well. Yeah. 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 There's always an expense to everything. You know that. <laughs> that's the only thing that's going to yeah. change. Prices go up with everything. So um, other than that, uh, what, what are you going to do if you're not able to sell? I have no idea. I haven't crossed that bridge yet. I'm working very hard to stick to my budget so that I can make sure I pay everything. Needless to say, that means there's no money to eat out, there's no money to go to the movies, there's no money for anything. <laughs> so. Yeah, I can feel that pain. I definitely understand that. Yeah. So um, how, how do I go about taking a look inside of it? Uh, is, it on, is it on a lockbox or something, or do I need to meet you there? How do I go oh. about seeing inside? No, I can, I can meet you there. Okay. Are you available? you're not talking about right now. Oh, no, I'm not even in the area now. Plus, it's kind of dark outside. You know, it gets dark real early now. Yes, it does. Yeah. So I can meet you there tomorrow morning if that works for you or, you know. Yeah, are you available tomorrow, say, between, um, let's see here, 11 and 12 tomorrow? Yeah, that would be fine. So, yeah, that'll work. Uh, I can meet you over there tomorrow between 11 and 12. I can call you or, or text you when I'm on the way so I can meet you there. You're not coming from far away or anything, right? No, uh -uh. I'm about 20, 25 minutes away. Yeah. Not so, a problem. So, yeah, I'll give you a call uh, in the morning, and uh, I'll meet you there sometime late morning tomorrow and see, uh, you know, so I can check it out, see what we can do as far as this here. Now, um, once I come and take a look at it and everything looks good, are you ready to get some paperwork started so we can get the process started and we're able to agree on everything? Absolutely. All right, Miss Menda, that sounds good. I think we may be able to do something here on this. Just, you know, I need to check it out and do my due diligence to make sure, you know, something we can handle and you're happy with everything. That's the biggest thing. We want to make it a win-win situation. All right, so did you have any other questions or anything for me for now before I let you go? No, not right now, I don't. All right, Minda, I'm going to send you a text with our website and other information about us as well. And other than that, I'll look forward to meeting you tomorrow, okay? All right, thank you.
Thank you. Have a good day. Motivated, motivated, motivated. Do you think she sound motivated? How do you grade that motivation on a scale of one to ten? Ten highly motivated, a one just down there, just kind of well. I'm just trying to see how much I can get. Yes, on a one to ten, sound like a strong nine. <laughs> strong nine. Let me see something here. Well, I can tell you why the house ain't sold on Zillow, because the pictures. They ain't take no pictures. This is what the house looks like. This ain't, it's not really a beautiful house or anything, but I'll let you see the pictures they got up online here. If you haven't, give this video a thumbs up. So that's what the house looked like. It's a frame house. I don't know where they put the extra bedrooms at, but I mean, look like they got a big yard or something. She said it's on a triple lot. You give it a 10. Shiny you a 10. And so, uh, oh yeah, this is the other thing here. This is what they say. It's been on Zillow for 55 days. So, you know, and I asked my virtual assistant, because she spoke to her, I asked him, like, how do we not come across this lady before she called us on a bandit sign? She's supposed to be watching all Fizbos. Nothing should come up for sale by owner without us touching them. We should touch every Fizbo to come up, up. And I'm like, how do we not reach this lady? How does she have to find us? She's like, oh, I don't know. Like, yeah, we need to get a, get a hold of that. So that's something I would suggest to you in your market. Get in touch. Get in touch with these Fizbos. Don't let them go. So, yeah, um, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this house tomorrow and see if there's something we can do with it. Uh, it looks like the ARV is probably around 100 because, uh, you know, depending on if these four bedrooms, really four bedrooms, this guy here is listed as a two-bedroom, one-bath, 1,000 square feet, but she said they fixed it in to make it to a four-bedroom, one-bath. This house probably would not need another bathroom as well to make it, you know, good, but I don't know if that's all can be done until I look at it. What's up, Mr. Smart Bucks? See you, bro. So um, it looks like you need a furnace. What's that about? A little bit of money. That's going to be, that's an expense, you know. But I, what my uh, thing is, I would like to go into this house, lock it up under contract tomorrow with her at, under terms, meaning we'll take over that payment of 575 a month sometime in the future, maybe like February. That's what I would like to put on paperwork. So I always put a lead or a lag time in between when I lock these properties up. We start making payments on or before February 1. So we have about two months to find a tenant buyer that will move into this house. I will lock it up with her tomorrow, uh, get access to it, get the keys to the property, start showing that bad boy, and uh, close it up in a few weeks and take this property off her hands. Now, the problem is, though, she's got the gas turned off, the electric going to be turned off on the 30th. I might get it transferred into my company name, to the property management name. I'm not sure if I want to keep that on. I need to keep it on. And then she's saying they're keeping the water on just so that the uh, thing works. So she got a lot of moving parts when it comes to work fixing on the house. But we'll see if we can solve those problems tomorrow. Any questions, comments, concerns before I get up out of here and do some more woke stuff? Don't forget, we're going live on Monday night, 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Time, each and every Monday night. We got some heavy hitters coming up. We got House Buying Brian coming up next month. We got Gia, the house goddess, just got scheduled. She coming in next month as well. And some more great content to teach you some of this real estate talk. So, yeah, let's see here. I enjoyed this video. Watching this has motivated me. That's right. You got to get motivated and keep that pipeline full. See, this lead came in off of a bandit sign. And that bandit sign probably been there for months because I, I don't remember putting it up. She said she saw it on uh, somewhere near the house. So this band design has been up for quite a while. She saw it. She called it. She got a hold of my virtual assistant. She took all the basic pertinent information. I came back through, did the follow-up call, as you just watched, just to get gauge motivation, see if we can work something out with her. She sounds motivated. She sounds reasonable. I'm ready to help this lady out and help me out and help the neighborhood out and get this house from being vacant to being occupied with a down payment from somebody. Somebody give me a non-refundable. I get the house for little or nothing down. That's the plan. And booyah, depending on the repairs. You know, if this house needs a lot of work, she might be getting a little bit. But my plan is to get her at least about a thousand dollars, you know, or so. Pay the closing costs. That's another thousand dollars. And then, um, you know, the repairs. I don't plan on doing any repairs on this property. I pre I'm prepared to let the tenant buyer do those repairs. Now, if I have to, I will. But I prefer to let the end buyer do that. And that's that's part of the deal that I need to construct with them. That's on the sell side, which is a whole other party. This here is just the buy side. Acquisitions. You got to become a great acquisitioner. All right. So I guess that's going to do it, family. Don't forget to follow me on all social media outlets at Chris Monroe STL. That's Snapchat. That's Twitter. That's Instagram. That's Facebook. That's YouTube. Don't forget the YouTube channel. 
We got over 100 free videos on the Woke Real Estate playlist on YouTube. Check it out. Links in my bio. Links in the description. Other than that, I think that's going to do it. So do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me. Peace out, family.